Hello, people of the internet, my name is Johnny, and welcome back to another video talking about these god dang fake leaks for Security Breach. That's right, people are back at it again, sharing around information about the upcoming Five Nights at Freddy's title being made by Steel Wolf Studios FNAF, Security Breach. They're just, they're creating these videos and these images that are just no, not legit, and it's just being spread around, so I wanted to make a video talking about them just so you guys can be informed that, hey, these are not real. They are fan-made, they are not legit. Originally, I made a few tweets about this over on Twitter, and I got, you know, a couple comments saying, ah, obviously, they're just jokes. Leave the creators be, they're just trying to have some fun. And to that, I say, you can have your fun. Some of the videos, in fact, really, one of the videos, because I'm only gonna be talking about one very specific one that's been, you know, being spread around quite a bit, it looks pretty dang good. In fact, in my first tweet about it, I even said it looked very impressive, but the reason why I made all those tweets, the reason why I'm making this video, is to inform the people that think it's legit that it's not. I had to preface that so many times on Twitter, it was very obnoxious, so hopefully this will be the final time we talk about it. Because as a content creator, I feel like it's kind of my responsibility to inform people about, you know, everything that's going on. So let's not waste any more time, let's get this over with. If you're new, subscribe to the channel, boys. We have a lot of great videos coming out soon. The core collection releases soon, oh my gosh. And if you missed the video before this, I reviewed this thing. Go check it out, link down below. So the video in question was posted over on Twitter initially, but it's since made its way all the way over to YouTube where those videos have thousands of views. So this is the video in question. As you can see, the caption says, OMG guys, look at the security breach gameplay leak. And it shows a character looking around a warehouse with a crosshair, and in the top left hand corner it says task hide from Vanny. Now again, this video looks very impressive, but it's not legit. And even under that video, the creator replied saying, yo, with another video showing off, I believe this is the kitchen? No, this is not the kitchen. Uh, yes it is, never mind. Yeah, as you can see, task go to laser tag as they explore around the kitchen. I can't remember, is this the one that shows the moon man? I'm not quite sure, it's been a couple days since I've seen these but there is one that shows the moon man. But yeah, they've made a few of those videos about Security Breach, about, um, you know, a, another free roam FNAF game. Some people say it's FNAF Plus, when obviously they're not legit. And the creator responded saying, I'm so bored, XD, sorry, XD, DD, DD, DD. Which, when you compare the likes from that reply to the videos in question, you can see that not many people saw that tweet, that reply, saying that, yep, these are not legit, and that the creator was just bored, so they made them. Now again, I have no problem with the creator. I think, again, it, the video looks fantastic. I don't want to discredit their work. My problem is when you, you know, you sell it as a leak, when in, you know, when in actuality, it's just something that you made. The FNAF community is full of so many talented people, and I would love for them to just share their work. You know, I made this thing, Give me your feedback rather than, you know, trying to pass it off as a leak. That that just, it's very annoying. And I get there's been leaks in the past, uh, leaks in the past. Um, and, you know, obviously there's going to be um, fakes. There's going to be hoaxes in the community. It's been like that for years and years and years. But it's just like, we don't need to add fire onto the flame. Add fuel to the fire. You know what I mean. So when stuff like this happens, it's just like, come on, man, really? Why couldn't you have just like sell it as your own work? Why, why do you have to do this? But yeah, as you can see, a quick YouTube search for F uh, FNAF Security Breach Gameplay. You can see FNAF Security Breach Gameplay, not clickbait. Leaked Security Breach Gameplay. New leaked footage for FNAF Security Breach FNAF Newses. <laughs> FNAF Security Breach Gameplay Fan Made. Luckily, this one actually says Fan Made. I doubt it said that in the original title, however. And also, there's another video here, which I guess I'll briefly talk about, called FNAF Security Breach Leaked Photo. Spoiler alert. Um, and I have no clue what the hell this video is supposed to be. First off, you got like five watermarks, which I believe the creator said they put them there just so people wouldn't steal the video, which, I mean, that's just completely BS. Also, all the pictures have like this weird filter on them, so clearly, like, they were tampered with. And also, like, what are the, like, there's no description about these, it's just like pictures. 
with filters on them. Like, come on, man. <laughs> come on. And some of them were just taken from the trailer anyway, so I don't know. Yeah, so obviously that's fake. Uh, luckily, the like to dislike seems to know that it's not real. Um, and that's the case for quite a lot of these videos about the fake gameplay. But I thought I'd address it anyways just because I... I don't like when this happens. <laughs> you know, I feel like I've had to repeat this so many times over the past couple of weeks that when people use their platform to spread misinformation, it gets me so upset because we just do not need this, right? I have nothing against the creator who made the initial video. Again, it looks fantastic, so god dang amazing. But if they, you know, if they phrased it better, if they didn't say, hey, look at this leak I found, if they said, hey, look at this cool thing I made. Because they said, and I've looked through their replies, they've said that they did all this to to trick people and to hype up FNAF security breach. Obviously, you can hype up the game and show your work without making leaks for the game, dude. And also, another thing that annoys me about this creator, again, I, I'm trying not to be rude here, but one of their replies was, this is why I should make more fakes like that. And it just seems like they're not at all phased by the fact that their video is tricking people in the community. Like, at, at one point they replied to, I can't remember, it might have been Raspowski, because he retweeted this. You know, he retweeted the video, and I believe the creator replied with like, oh no, what if someone made a fake gameplay video on YouTube about my, my video? Oh, that would suck. I'm trying not to be mean here, but it just seems... <sighs> I don't know, it, it's just annoying to me, the fact that this person clearly doesn't care that a lot of people in the community are thinking that this is legit when it's not. I just wish they'd handled this better, you know? <laughs> like, don't paint it as a leak, you know? And then we wouldn't be in this situation. I wouldn't have to make videos like this, because I really don't like making videos like this. I'd much rather make a security breach video about the new banner that is on Steelworld's um, website. And I guess since we are nearing the end of the video, I can briefly talk about that. Um, right, they uploaded a new banner to their site. It has the security breach logo in pink now with with, uh, with Glamrock Chica right there. So since they are updating their site, does this mean that we can get more news in the future? I don't know. Hopefully, because they did promise some news and we were all kind of hoping for some news before the end of the year, but of course that didn't happen. We also are very due for a teaser and a trailer since the last teaser we got was back in August and it's now January. You know, a look at some gameplay, some proper gameplay instead of panning, you know, cinematic shots. As cool as that was, I would like to see just a little bit of gameplay. Um, now, I'm not out here saying, oh, we're getting a trailer this month because that was another video that was brought to my attention. We know nothing about when the next teaser, when the next trailer is going to be released. It's my personal theory that now would be a pretty good time because not only do we usually get stuff when Daco makes videos about, hey, we haven't had news in a while, which he did that today. So uh, hopefully we can expect one soon. I would be fine with a teaser, but I would prefer a trailer more just because... You know, I want to see the game. I'm, I'm, I don't want to see another teaser. Even though the artwork is fantastic, don't get me wrong. Um, if I had to, you know, choose what I would want to see in the teaser, maybe some more areas in the in the location or the moon animatronic, maybe even the sun animatronic. Even though we don't really know if that is a character just yet. Yeah, really anything. Honestly, now that I think about it, really just anything. But you know, we we just gotta wait. Really, we just gotta wait for Scott and Stillwater to say something, and hopefully we can get something soon if they are updating their website. So that's really it. Um, I just wanted to hop on quickly. Tomorrow I'll talk about the Funko Festival, which should be very, very exciting. It'll be more of a speculation video just because we don't really have a whole lot of info on it. Uh, but yeah, that's coming out tomorrow. And then Tuesday, I don't know, I, FNAF Sister Location VR came out recently, so I, I wanna play that again. So yeah, that'll be it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye. Gregory, be still. I think she's found us. <laughs>